Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Vidyarthini's Academy of Computer Science Learn with Passion. In today's video lecture, we'll be learning about cooperating processes. Uh, in my previous video lecture, we learned about process scheduling. All this comes under the topic process uh, management. And uh, before we get started, if you like my video lecture, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. We have listed our socials in the description. Please do check and do follow us in Facebook and Instagram too. Let's get started. Uh, cooperating processes. Uh, processes are basically of two types, ind independent process and cooperative process. Uh, process which are uh, not affected or which will not affect other process uh, are called independent process, whereas uh, process which will be or which can affect other process are called a cooperative process. Let's see the definition now. Uh, uh, definition. Cooperating processes are those that can affect or affected by other processes running on the system. Cooperating processes may share data with each other. See, affected in the sense the result of one process will be the input of the other process or uh, the result of our process is the input for other uh, uh, another process. So this is way it is interdependent on the other process. That is why we call this as cooperative processes right uh, next is the reasons for needing cooperating processes uh, this can be considered as the advantages of a cooperating process also so why do we need a cooperating process first one is the modularity the first reason is the modularity modularity in the sense you are dividing the whole big work uh, or big project into a smaller subtask or modules so that each modules can be worked uh, separately uh, by different people or uh, and uh, finally after uh, uh, completing all the modules you can combine all the modules and form a single project so that uh, uh, the work can be done very uh, fastly as well as more efficiently okay so let's see what is modularity modularity involves dividing complicated task into smaller subtask these uh, subtask can be completed by different uh, uh, cooperative processes uh, this leads to faster and more efficient completion of the required task so since we uh, we are not uh, putting the whole work on a single uh, process we are dividing the whole work into different different subtasks and uh, so that uh, uh, each work is being done very fastly as well as more efficiently all right uh, the next reason is the information sharing. Sharing of information between multiple process can be accomplished using cooperating process that is uh, the, uh, the output produced by one process will be the input for the other process. Uh, in that way the multiple process can share information or uh, there, there, will be, there will be many processes right. So each process or many process together will be accessing the information from the same file. So that will also be one of the reasons uh, for information sharing. So let's see uh, this may include ac access to the same file. Uh, and the mechanism is required so that the process can access the file in parallel to each other so that both the process can access the same file. So this is also one of the reasons. Okay. Uh, next reason is the convenience uh, that is a single user might be doing uh, multiple uh, tasks at the same time for example the user might be working on the uh, word document at the same time he will be listening to music and he will be giving a print command and uh, at the same time he will be doing some editing job so so when the processes are co cooperative it is convenient for the user uh, to uh, do his task uh, without any uh, difficulties so let's see what uh, what we have under convenience there are many tasks that a user need to do such as compiling printing editing etc uh, it is convenient if these tasks can be managed by cooperating uh, processes so that is uh, that is one of the main reasons uh, we go for cooperative processes right 
Uh, the next is the computation speed up uh, to, in order to increase the speed of completing the project is also one of the reason why we go for cooperative uh, processes that is a big work is being divided into smaller modules and each smaller module is parallelly worked uh, and uh, finally completed and combined to form a big project so that uh, uh, the com uh, completion of the uh, project is very fast so that is uh, that is what is given here subtask of a single task can be performed parallel using cooperating process uh, this increases the computation speed as the task can be executed faster however this is only possible if the system has multi-processing element and this is uh, possible only when there is a multi-processing element all right uh, now let's see the methods of cooperation uh, process that is uh, there are two two methods first one is by sharing and second one is by uh, message passing so let's see about it cooperating process can coordinate with each other using shared data or messages first one is cooperation by sharing that is here uh, there will be a common uh, space in the memory uh, of which the two process will be sharing the access to the same shared data so that is what is cooperation by sharing uh, let's see the cooperation process the cooperating processes uh, can cooperate with each other using shared data such as memory variables files database etc the critical section is used to provide data integrity and writing in is mutually exclusive to prevent inconsistent data that is uh, when one process is writing the other process will be uh, waiting so that when both the process together if it writes in the same uh, shared uh, memory space uh, it it will lead to inconsistency so that is what they say uh, the critical section is when, when only when uh, the two process try to write in the same uh, uh, right at the same time in the shared memory space okay so let's see the pictorial representation of uh, this uh, cooperation by sharing here uh, in this diagram if you see process p1 and process p2 both are sharing the shared uh, data that is this is the shared data space in the memory uh, which is being shared by the process 1 and process 2 in the above diagram p1 and p2 can cooperate with each other using shared data such as memory variables uh, files database etc so uh, this is uh, this is where uh, this is the space uh, which has been shared by p1 and p2 so uh, they can access the files variables uh, uh, database etc and uh, the problem occurs uh, when, only when if both the process try to write at the same time so that uh, so there will be in, uh, inconsistency in that place so so for that reason that uh, the process p1 and p2 are mutually exclusive that is when one process is writing the other will be waiting so that uh, the there will be consistency in what is happening in the shared data space okay the second one is the cooperation by communication that is uh, this is of the type message passing let's see cooperating processes can cooperate with each other using messages this may lead to deadlock if each process is waiting for the message from the other process uh, that is for uh, from the other to perform an operation that is uh, uh, two process uh, work together by sending and receiving messages that is process p1 will send a message to the kernel and from the kernel process 2 will receive the message and the problem here is that uh, it will lead to deadlock if uh, both the process are waiting uh, to get the message from each other and starvation is also possible if a process never receives a message if in case the process 1 is waiting for the message from process 2 and process 2 is not at all sending any message the process 1 will be keep on waiting for the message from process 2 so that situation is called starvation so those are two uh, uh, drawbacks in uh, this um, cooperation by communication method 
So let's see the diagrammatic representation of a uh, cooperating uh, process by, uh, by communication. So here uh, the process P1 sends the message to the kernel and process P2 receives the message from the kernel. In the above diagram, process P1 and P2 can cooperate with each other using messages to communicate. So uh, and if both are waiting for each other, uh, then uh, there is a deadlock and uh, if uh, the one is not at all sending a message and the other one is waiting for the message from that process, then it leads to starvation. So these are the two methods and uh, uh, one good example for uh, cooperating process is the producer consumer problem. Let's see about it. Uh, in this example, we uh, uh, we have uh, two cooperating uh, cooperating processes. Uh, one is the producer, and the other is the consumer. And this problem is called the producer consumer problem. Uh, producer process it produces information that will be consumed by the consumer, whereas uh, the consumer process it consumes uh, information produced by the producer. Both processes are run concurrently if the consumer has nothing to consume it waits uh, and whereas uh, uh, when it comes to producer there are two versions of producer in uh, version one the producer can produce infinite amount of items there is no upper limit so the producer will be producing continuously this is called unbounded buffer producer consumer problem uh, the other one is in the other version, there is a fixed limit to the buffer size. When the buffer is full, the producer must wait until there is some uh, space in the buffer before it can produce new item. That is, the buffer size is fixed so that uh, uh, when the upper limit is reached, the producer cannot produce. It has to wait until the uh, there is uh, some space in the buffer so that it can produce new item. So bounded buffer problem, uh, shared memory is the solution. There is a shared memory solution for bounded buffer producer consumer uh, problem. Both producer, uh, sorry, both processes have some shared data that can be accessed and updated. So in this uh, uh, bounded buffer, a shared memory, there is a shared memory which, is, which can be accessed by both the process. And uh, the data that uh, uh, present in the shared memory space is being accessed by both the process. So let's see a program uh, rep, uh, which is an example for a producer consumer problem. Here the shared data are the in, uh, integer, uh, uh, the n, uh, item, in and out. These are the variables which are shared by both the producer uh, process as well as the consumer process. Uh, and the value of the buffer is 5. And uh, when uh, producer process can produce only until uh, the buffer value is 5. Whereas the consumer uh, can consume only when there is something in the buffer, uh, it cannot consume when the buffer value is zero. So uh, here when you see this outer, uh, outer uh, while loop, uh, the in value is getting increased uh, and when, when, when the in value is increased, the uh, out value is also increased. So this is, uh, that is when the producer produces, the consumer consumes. So this is the uh, programmatic representation of producer consumer problem and uh, the producer basically just checks to see if there is any space uh, in which uh, to put a newly produced item that is the outer for loop producer always checks to produce if there is uh, that is in the buffer there are uh, five f buffer size is five so when the uh, upper limit five is reached it cannot produce so if there is no space, then it waits until there is some space. The consumer waits while the buffer is empty. When the buffer size is zero, the consumer has to wait because if there is nothing inside the buffer to consume. If there is something, it grabs the next item and consumes it. And one drawback of this uh, solution is that there is one element of the buffer that is wasted. And uh, uh, with this, we complete this session. And uh, my next session will be about uh, threads. And if you like my video lecture, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Do follow us in Instagram and uh, Facebook. We have a page in Instagram. 
ಅಟ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿನೀಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಸ್ಕೋಡ್ ಅಕಾಡಮಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ಸ್ಕೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಸ್ಕೋಡ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿನಿ ಡಾಟ್ ಎ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡು ಫಾಲೋ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡು ಫೀಲ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಟು ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಲೋ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈ ಯೋರ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಲೆಟ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ